lovers mm -hmm. and excuse our appearance we just got done swimming I'm in my bathing suit she put her shirt on yeah but um and our <laughs> hair is like poop but poopy poop yeah so hers looks better because it's curly and then because it look pretty <sighs> whatever but thank Mine's you flat and ugly. <laughs> um, so you can tell them what our video is about today okay so today our video is going to be about um like back to school it's going to be like part of our back to school series have we started that yet no but we will okay well starting our back to school series Yay! Yay! Even though we're not, we're happy going back to school, but then we're not. We're like, so. oh, seriously. Okay, but we're going to be doing like organization, uh, organization, organization tips. Sorry, I am like out of it. And we're also going to be doing like what's in her school bag. I haven't got my stuff, and I'm over at her house, so so you know, yeah. But that is our video, so we hope you guys enjoy, and we're just gonna get into it now. Whoop. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to show you my bag first because that's basically what we're aiming for here. Okay, so my bag is pretty darn big. I got it from Victoria's Secret Pink and it just has leopard print or cheetah print and it's really wide like so I can fit a lot of stuff in here and then if I don't need to fit all that much stuff in here, it's sort of um, clasped together like that. So... Yeah, that's just my bag. And they were like $20, I think. So, yeah, okay. So, the first thing I have in here is. Sorry, Bailey, it's like damp. Okay, the first thing I have in here is my pencil case. And it just looks like that. And I have all the stuff in here. Yeah. And now Bailey is going to take over and she's going to tell you how to keep a pencil bag or case organized. What up guys? Okay, so I'm going to tell you how to keep it organized. I know it's kind of like weird to keep a pencil bag organized because you really can't, but um, I'm going to show you how to keep it organized, as I quote. Okay, so like what she has in there, she has a protractor thingy, clear protractor, two like multicolored pen thingies from BIC or BIC or whatever, I don't know how to say that. Um, <laughs> Huh? Tell them I'll be putting pencils in there. Okay. She'll be putting pencils in there, but she just doesn't have any in there. But pretend there's pencils in there. Okay, and then she has a giant glue stick. Tiny little, it's so cute. It's a little tiny pencil sharpener. I love that. And then colorful highlighters. Okay, to keep it organized, you only want, like, you don't have to take my advice, but this is how I kept mine organized and not as messy, and it kept it clean inside and not, like, all marked up and stuff, is keep two um, unsharpened pencils in there and then keep... Um, uh, if you have like four colors like she does, but if you if your school has to or makes you like have two packs of four highlighters or something like that and they're in different colors, just have either one pack in there or just have two highlighters in there just to keep it spacious and organized. And then you can have your protractor in there, of course, blah blah blah. Um, and then have if you have two of the same pins, just keep one until one runs out, and then you can switch it out. And then, of course, you want your pencil sharpener, but sometimes I just keep it in a baggie, a small little snack size baggie, just so the shavings don't go around in my thing. And then if you have to have, like, two glue sticks, just keep one at home, and then keep one in your pencil bag. So, yeah, that's how you keep a pencil bag organized. Woo -hoo. Okay, then, it stopped. Here's my favorite song. Anyways, okay. So that is how you keep a pencil bag organized. So the next thing I have, since school hasn't started yet, I just have a pack of Crayola Lashable markers. Comes in, has eight markers in all these different colors. And it shows all the colors right here. And then I have a Crayola sharpened colored pencil. Oh my gosh. <laughs> colored pencils. And they come with 12. So I'm ready to go. There's nothing much you can do to keep these organized, so I'm just gonna go on to the next thing. Okay, so now I have a composition book, and this is just for science, and there are some ways to keep this organized, so Bailey is going to tell you on how to do that. Hey guys! Okay, so I know we, this is also another thing that you really can't keep organized that well, but um, I said that's for her science. I know some schools don't um, like take notes in notebooks. I know some schools just do it in newspaper, but to keep um, notes more organized, I suggest using one of these. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so just to keep it organized, I know because some, some schools just use loose paper. To use, to keep more organized, use one of these or just a spiral notebook. But, um, like on your first page, do you mind if I do this? Oh, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> just use this first page as a title of contents to keep, like, and have, like, a date and the, the title of your notes or what your notes are about to make a title of it. And so then you just know, like, if you're studying for a test and it's over your first, um, like, first six weeks objective and whatever, you're taking, like, a CBA or whatever it's called, it, off school or whatever. But just use that. And so then you can just look, go through and be like, oh, okay, so now I know where that is. Like, you can just flip to that page. So that's how to keep that organized. Okay, so on to the next thing. I have my homework. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, whoa. I have my homework binder, and oh my gosh. <laughs> Say hello to my Pekka Bear. Pekka Bear. Throw it. <laughs> okay, so this is my binder I have. It's just a pink um, one and a half inch binder that I got from um, Office Depot, and I just collaged the front. So. Um, me and Bailey are going to do a video on how to do this after we do this video, and it will be uploaded, like, next week. So, wait for that, but I just did everything about me on here. So, like, strawberries, some quotes, and some sunglasses and makeup, because that's me. And this is just my homework binder, so Bailey's going to tell you how to keep your homework binder organized. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. Back to normal. Hey, guys. Okay. So, um, I'm going to be showing you how to keep your homework binder organized. <laughs> I know some people don't have, like, her school makes you have, like, a binder for, like, every class, which I think is dumb. <laughs> really dumb, because you have to have a giant bag like she showed you. But at my school, we only need one binder, and we just need a folder for each class to keep our stuff organized and stuff. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to keep this binder organized. Okay. So, like... So... Can you see that? This is the name of my school. This is the name of my school. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> oh, here. Can I do this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, how you keep this... Oh, you can't see my face. Okay. How you keep this organized? Like, this is what she has in it. She has a folder thingy uh, and a little thingy, uh, what you call it. Three um, subject notebook. Three subject notebook, there you go. And then, and then some loose paper. And so how to keep this organized is you always want the, sorry, my eye itches. So how to keep this organized is you always want the folder in the front so then you can have like, um, like so you can have like, so like, <clears throat> can't speak, I'm sorry. Okay, so you see how it's the double notebook binder thing and my bobber thing is you keep the what you need to do in one part and then what you have already done in one part so you can turn it in easily and then the other thing to do this is to take notes on or whatever right yeah to take notes on and this paper is just to do like math homework or math problems or anything else like writing reading whatever and yeah and then the other thing is to keep your agenda thingy in there so yeah so that's how you keep that organized whoop whoop Okay, so the next thing I have in my bag, since we have to have a binder for each class, um, is my reading binder, and I just what the butt? Ugh. And I don't have I don't have anything written on it because I don't know if this is supposed to be my reading binder, but I'm making it my reading binder, so it's just a plain reading binder, as you can tell. That's where they came from. Hold on one sec. So, yeah, and now Bailey's going to tell you how to keep your reading binder organized if you have to have a reading binder. Hey, guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to organize your reading thing if you need one. I don't need one, so I'm not really sure how to do this, but I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, so if you need note cards for that class, I would suggest either putting them in the back folder thing here, right here, or in the front, like where she put hers, right there. And then you always want to have a giant two-pocket folder thingy, which is hers as paper, instead of having a plastic one so they don't rip. <laughs> and then just have some loose notebook paper. Like here's that much, you can tell. Yeah, 
And so just do that. Um, and so then you have some for like taking notes or writing essays or anything like that and reading class. So there you go.